I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I am going through it right now, okay? My hair is going through it, ponytail said, you know, no. Uh, face is going through it. I have flown four times in the last week. So my skin, it's it's not feeling it. But I was going to give you a video regardless because I did not give you one on Friday. And I came home to a package, I made up a package from an order to an order, please. <laughs> to an order that I made uh, from Ulta before I left and I didn't expect it to already be here by the time I got back. So, as I'm doing my channel today, I am testing out what is new at the drugstore. So if you wanna see how I got this look, get my thoughts on the products that I tried, then let's go. Like, I really know I'm being tested, okay? Cause you know when you open a package, especially a makeup one, and you just see powder all over the place, you already know what time it is. I opened the package uh, to this Wet n Wild color icon eyeshadow palette. I don't believe this is the first Wet n Wild eyeshadow that I've tried before, but it's the most memorable one. So let's just say this is the first Wet n Wild. I really couldn't even remember like what to expect when trying this. It's the lights off. I can't hold it because it's shattered in packaging. Ulta, you know, if we're moving towards like bubble wrapping packaging when shipping stuff out, no more boxes, maybe, you know, maybe. Let's take a little more caution with some of the things that are inside. Just saying. Um, I'll have like a picture or something pop up so you can see what the actual palette is supposed to look like. It came, shadows are shattered, so I did the best with trying eyeshadow. It worked on like the one eye, the other eye, the shadows. It was, it was a weird like first impression for shadows since I can't remember anything else that I've tried before. It's like, it's really pigmented, blends nicely, blends. I usually like a little bit more powdery shadows because I feel like they're usually more pigmented. They blend nicely, they show up on the skin, like all the colors look how they're supposed to look on the skin, right? But it was like falling apart when I was doing the tutorial. I'll have you know it running while I'm talking. Like it was literally crumbling. I was having glitter on my face, matte shadows on my face. Like it was literally falling apart while I was doing it. You know, let's keep it real simple today. Do a nice little like three shade look for the rest of the palette breaks. I'm gonna take this brown shade right here. I don't think I've ever tried Wet n Wild shadows before, but oh, okay. Wait a minute. I like, I like how it dipped in there. And then this brown shade as the lid color. So I picked up this shade and you know, I was trying to do like a little, little half-ish cut crease thing going on there, a little blend with the first lid shade. And it, you know, it was doing what it was supposed to do on this eye. This eye, something about this palette, it's literally falling apart. I don't understand, but you know what? We're just gonna move on. I'm gonna finish it off with this black shade and move on to the next thing I try. Now these are drugstore brands, so you can walk into, you know, CVS, Target, stuff like that and find these brands. So maybe you'll have better luck with it that way, if not, you know, getting it shipped to your house. Um, I actually like the palette itself, but like, will I probably end up keeping this? I probably won't just because it's literally everywhere. I had to keep getting up to wash my hands off because I had shimmers all over and I kept putting it back on my face and I moved on to complexion. So uh, the actual palette itself, thumbs up from me. I just, you know, had a not so spectacular experience because of the shipping. I don't know, I guess I want to see what was up with Wet n Wild. I also picked up their Impossible Primer Base, the one silicone free primer that does it all. Um, it mattifies, it hydrates, it blurs pores, it preps skin for lasting makeup, and it's impossibly, it's impossibly silicone free. Okay, Wet n Wild. Um, the texture of this was throwing me off when I first like threw it out. Cause I was like, okay, but it, it's giving like silicone primer. Then I put it on and I was like, maybe it's giving gel primer. And then it was cooling as well. It said hydrates, right? It hydrates. It was cooling as well. I kind of liked how it felt after I put it on. It just, it was, it was a weird, I feel like I haven't really felt that much before. 
so it was throwing me off but like once it was on i liked how it felt on the face and i like how makeup has applied on top of it so okay okay it went wild i'm actually like i said i was impressed by the eyeshadow palette i just it was unfortunate the one that i got came damaged and this this primer okay i haven't tested anything out from them in a minute but the two that i did pick up The next thing I tried is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I got an ad for this on Instagram and I was like, I know I've tried the True Blend foundation, but this Matte Made, is that new? I didn't hear anything about this. I didn't hear anyone talking about this. I could just be late to the party. I have not tried anything from CoverGirl and I don't even, I couldn't tell you when's the last time. I tried a new product from a CoverGirl. I saw matte, I've got oily skin. Um, I got this in the shade D80 Soft Sable. I like it. I feel like my face overall is giving, you know, very matte because of the products that I put on it. And I'm not, it, we are going into winter. You know, I did just say like my skin is going through it because of all the flying that I had to do in the last week. So we don't see what it looks like, you know, throughout the day, but you know, for the finish of it, I'm not mad. I believe Soft Sable is the shade I usually wear in CoverGirl foundations, which is probably why I picked this one. Not mad at that either, you know. I like it could even be a foundation I can wear through the winter we'll have to keep you updated on that this has actually been in my Ulta cart for a minute I just didn't have enough other products to hit checkout like I don't I hate doing you know just like a a one product purchase you know then I get a little bubble wrapper I don't know it's 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 a me thing okay but it is the NYX bear with me concealer serum in the shade I, in the shade I don't know uh, oh in the shade deep golden um thick she th 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 thick concealer um again I feel like it's helping with the matte face that I've got going on right now what I don't like I don't like how the dispenser is like a you know squeeze down type thing I feel like you don't really see that that much with concealer it's usually like a wand or a pot something like that Mac is a macro on there that has a that has a you know dispenser like that? I don't really like that, uh, but you know, like it's not <laughs> it's not like a oh my god I hate this because of that type of thing. I just don't like that about it. On the face, like I said, you know she's th 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 thick. But you know, on the face, I'm not that mad. Actually, now that I think about it, if you guys saw the video the other day where I was like, these are the products that I kind of regret uh, decluttering, and I mentioned the Kevin Aquan, I feel like it's not it's not fully giving Kevin Aquan, you know, skin sensual enhancer, whatever it's called, but it's reminding me of that. It's reminding me of like a drugstore version of that. Cause it's kind of, it's kind of got the same consistency. It's, you know, definitely a more full coverage concealer. I usually don't like the two together, like more full coverage concealer with more full coverage foundation. I would say that uh, CoverGirl foundation is, you know, she's a little, you know, medium to full coverage than sheer coverage, if anything. Um, but I do often not wear foundation nowadays, so I've got, I've got good hopes on this one. We'll see like creasing or anything like that, but I like it in combination with the rest of my face. So I haven't actually tried this one yet. It's from Revlon. It's their new Blot Matte Setting Powder. Is there a shade? I feel like it's translucent. Is there a shade? Zero, zero, 001. I'm just going to assume it's a translucent powder. Uh, I haven't actually put this on my face yet because I bought it thinking like, what would this look like as a 
blotting powder you know uh you put your makeup on then throughout the day later on and carry it in your purse something like that and then just give your face a blot to combat any oil that you might have so i think i'm gonna insert like a clip of me checking in later on in the day and that'll also show you what the foundation's looking like what the concealer's looking like try blotting my face with this and then give you like my impression of what this is like but this is new from a drugstore brand so it is 5 45 this is my face is looking like i feel like i'm creasing like right right in there which is normal to me like I'm, oh i'm sorry I, that was real <laughs> all up in my face um which that doesn't really worry me but i wanted you guys to see what my face looked like before i tried the blotting powder and this is me blotting my face I'm impressed, but I feel like we're gonna have to do a little flash test. I'm gonna insert right here because she looking, she was looking a little ghostly. I don't know about that flash, but I mean, the oil that I did have producing, I feel is a little under control now. The flash test will determine <laughs> how I feel about this product. I don't feel like getting up again because I left it in the bathroom, but I bought the NYX pressed powder that I feel like I, I know I saw Jackie talking about it I saw a couple people talking about it on Instagram it's not really that new I believe NYX sent me that in a PR package and I lost it through moving so I just went ahead and bought it from Ulta myself because I had I actually heard people talking about this product I have a picture pop up here so you know what I'm talking about I bought this because it was reminding me of the um Dior powder that I used to set my face after setting powder so that's how I used it to to try it out today And I don't hate the outcome after using it that way, okay, okay. So if you guys saw when I tested out Mothwise from Fenty Beauty, I said I bought that because someone was giving a breakdown of what SZA's lip combination was, and that was one of the things. But if you saw that video, I mentioned that I thought there was something else that that person said she also had on her lips, and it was this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in... Abu Dhabi um, and you'll see in the clip when I'm trying them both on at the same time that it was definitely getting very pink of a lip so um, after I did that you know you can see what it looks like that's still a cute combination on the lips but it was it was a little too pink for the eyeshadow look that I had going on so I tamed it down just a little bit by putting oh Jesus by putting hot by putting hot chocolate lit from Fenty Beauty on top, just a little light layer. And you know, it's still giving pink. I like this lip combination that I've got going on right now. It's still giving pink, you know, just a little toned down because I've got like goldish, tannish on my eyes. And it was just a little too contrasting without hot chocolate, uh, hot chocolate lit. But this, this combination, all three of them, And this face was the outcome of those products and I am pleasantly surprised okay I haven't tested out anything from I think any of these brands maybe maybe not so much NYX yeah cuz I know I've done like NYX stuff this year but other than that CoverGirl Revlon um, Wet n Wild haven't haven't thought about <laughs> those brands in a minute certainly haven't tested anything out in a minute um, really, I feel like drugstore in general, I haven't really tested out much, um, especially after moving, but the first time doing it, okay, we like affordable, okay, we like can give you the same type of outcome as all the other products that you're used to for a cheaper price, okay, ooh, don't, don't mind my hair, okay, uh, <laughs> so that is it for my face today, those are my first thoughts on some new products that I've seen from some drugstore brands, I, I keep saying, you know, what's new at the drugstore, even though like Ulta it technically isn't the drugstore, y'all got Ulta, these are drugstore brands, that's why I keep, I keep going back and forth with that in my head, like, I hope that's making sense when I say like what's new at the drugstore, um, but that is what's new at the drugstore, those are definitely some fire products that you should check out okay okay um i hope seeing me test this out has helped if any of you were thinking of checking it out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn notification bells all of that down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye